Good morning, everybody. What was that? Okay, don't know. Anyway, just packed up in um, what's this place called? The supermarket at Aldi. <laughs> Whoa, that made me jump in. I thought there were horsemen car. It's a blimmin' leaf that's dropped off a tree. Oof. <laughs> oh, I should. I did buy a car mount for my phone, a phone, for my car, sorry, but blew me, Nora, we're in fog, it's so bad today, but um, when I opened it and tried to fit it, it was broken and I just didn't have it in, I should have took it back really, but yeah, anyhow, it's done and dusted, so my car looks like a right old mess. I need to clean and I ain't got the energy to do it. I might do it tomorrow because I've got my uh, CPN appointment with my psychiatrist. Hopefully I'll be discharged. But, yeah, I look knackered. I know I've not slept very well through the night. I fell asleep on the sofa. Uh, worst mistake ever because my sofa, even though it's a, three, a three-seater, it, it won't sit with Jake. Um, sorry, someone's packed the side now. I get a bit nervous when they're looking at me and saying, What are you doing on your phone? Um, yeah, it's not a big sofa, and in fact, it's knackered. So, I do when I first bought it, first few, two days were fine. Then I heard a pop. I thought, Oh, no wonder I paid it cheap to be honest. I thought, no, I'm going to have to put some money aside and get a decent one. Something that's not going to go pop and break straight away. It creaks like my car, like my knees. <laughs> so, yeah, I, got, I woke up about maybe 3 o'clock this morning and just climbed into bed. Oh. So, guys, it's been a few hours later. And, yep, yeah, got the dog there. And I've got a cat. Uh, just wants to sit on me and put his purry, so I've been... Oh, God, I've got it all done. Plus, I'm tired. I'll excuse the frizzy air. I kind of bust it when I come back from the dentist. So Hannah has got an abscess in her mouth. Oh, dear baby. So she's got some antibiotics. Oh, it's a nice. Oh, dee -dee 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 -dee. oh how cute is it? How cute. Yeah, so she's got she's been given antibiotics and she's gonna to have to get her wisdom teeth out because yeah, they're digging into a gum. Um so I don't know how that's gonna work because I remember when I had mine done, that was back in oh twenty years ago. <laughs> Not for a long time and I had to go to hospital and get mine done. Um but yeah, and I think once you get your wisdom teeth out, do you ever if you if you've had them taken out, let me know in the comments. Do you feel like your jaw clicks and locks? It's not the same. Because I feel like when I had mine done, even with the cold, my jaw just lock and click, it click, you know, and again, and it, like, I don't know, it just feels different. But then it's a bit, oh, what are you doing with your little paw? Yeah, you just want some loving. Ronnie has not come home today, so now I'm starting to panic over that. It's probably out gallivanting, but maybe me. Yeah, I think worst. It's probably all right. It's probably out playing with all the cats. Look at him. <laughs> Usually he sleeps across my chest, but because I keep having to sit up and get my cup of tea, is. Not liking it, are you, Sully? Look at him, how adorable. Life challenges you can never get all done when you've got a cat on you. And, yeah, I'd rather do that than uh, do anything around the house. <laughs> I had to do over the stairs uh, in the hallway because I to name the front door. I don't have carpets, it's just like uh, vinyl. Um, but when you're letting your dogs in and out continuously throughout the day, and then you've got the cats, no fur everywhere. So I just need to come round a little bit because I still feel a bit... Because I didn't really sleep very well last night. Uh, I still feel like I'm half asleep, but I need to come round and I need to do the mop, get some bleach in the mop bucket and bleach the stairs. Make it a bit fresher and my arms are really hurting. I don't know what I've done to this wrist, but it's a bit sore. Ugh, look 
get in my clothes, you're in your clothes, and you're like, <laughs> he sure loves it and this is what I wanted in the car now Biscuit my other ginger and white cat he used to do it but he used to on and night I used to let him sleep in bed with me and he used to put his head where my amp is poor cat and then <laughs> his long body his body just go down the side of my body oh and I had an experience of the night not last night or the night before kind of freaked me out at first but then I went is that you, Biscuit? Is that you, Alfie? Do you ever, have you ever had a paranormal experience? I've had quite a few. And uh, not last night, the night before, I was laid in bed, I was just getting comfy, and it just, I could feel the bed just going, mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> and cat followed me on as if I was getting a stroke. Yeah, so I felt the bed, like someone had jumped on my bed like a cat. And it dumped down, and I could see the, I could see it going down. I could feel the movements. First, it scared me. I was like, "What the?" And then I went, "Is that your biscuit? That's me, the cat." And then healthy. So you have one. If it is, come, come on, come on, get a cuddle. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just, I struggle. I'm struggling at the minute with help, with losing. I know it's been six months now, but. It still doesn't get any, hopefully it'll get better, but there's days like yesterday, I was, not yesterday, was it yesterday? I don't know, I was doing something yesterday or, or the day before, and I was just driving, and I got that overwhelming feeling, like, you know, like, I, I, I couldn't, my heart was melting, and I thought, I'm missing Alfie. And I just, the overwhelming wanting to cry and stuff, but I was driving so I couldn't. Um, but yeah, I get like that now and again. But I know people just say, it's just the cat. Well, I'm sorry about that cat with my life, you know what I mean? I've had him for 15 years. So yeah, it's an hard one. Losing a pet. But yeah, I sometimes feel like you get more affection and love off your animals than you do some human beings. And they don't answer back. Saying that, Raina does, Tom's dog, because that big Belgian mellow across German Shepherd we have. She does answer you back. I'm not kidding, I'll have to film it one day. I think I might have done it on already on my YouTube short. But I'll, she come in, and I, she wanted something. I had some biscuits, I think, on, or Dunkin' in my tea. And she's like, oh, what do you want? Oh, I'm sure if I'm be quiet. But because she's a big dog and it's a loud bark, and then she's like, hmm. Oh, stop, stop answering back. She's like, hmm, hmm, I thought, no, me, ain't that dog smart. Anyway, guys, that's it. Life challenges today is taking Hannah to the dentist. Not feeling it today. Not, I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I'm not mourning. I'm just generally feel that taxi outside, but it's on it. I generally feel worn out. Now, I think it's probably a flare. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, is it bit time yet? Uh, and I can't be sleeping tomorrow either because I've got some repair guy coming and I don't even know what it's for. It's a bricklayer. I'm assuming it's for the outside. Uh, but yeah, yesterday I did try to do a bit of housework. I only managed 10 minutes. I sit down and my back was killing me. Um, not managed to get to doctors today because I had to concentrate on getting Hannah seen. Uh, so she's on antibiotics and going back for her teeth removal. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm gonna cut it short because I've been babbling on now for quite a while, and I think I'm gonna have to have a go and have a nap. Damn you, fibro! Let me know in the comments below, guys. What have you been up to? Are you struggling with the fibro flare? Uh, have you ever had issues with your wisdom teeth? And um, what is all they like? Because it's raining out here. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm all of you and leave you. Thanks again for watching. And with that being said, I will catch up with you. I'm, I'm holding my arm up, it's hurting. With that being said, I'll catch up with you in the next video. And yeah, hopefully, I will be more awake. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Thanks again. Don't forget to hit that like button. That's a screw button.
subscribe that subscribe button if you haven't already and that notification bell and i'll see you in the next video bye bye